All right, Majestic Elegance, my last all-inclusive hotel. I'm gonna do a very brief room rundown. I just did a deep dive where I went over everything. So if you wanna know all the details of the cheapest room they have here at Majestic Elegance, the junior suite with an indoor jacuzzi, check the link in the description below. Uh, I'm loving the open floor layout. It really maximizes space. It's also wonderful for Feng Shui. I'm digging the external sinks. We have a water closet behind door number one. Marble everywhere here, marble floors and marble walls. And then we have a shower here uh, behind door number two. And then here's the main portion of the room. You have your bedroom and then have your entertainment slash relaxation area over there. Uh, let's see, we have a four post bed with a bed bench. These four post beds are always a sign of class. And then moving on into the relaxation area, the entertainment area, we do have a sunken living room. You have your indoor jacuzzi right here at the end of the room. You have a huge couch right here. And then to finish, we have a balcony. And sometimes you hit a home run with these views and sometimes you strike out. This is kind of a strikeout. I'm on the second level here. Not much of a view. In fact, it's quite industrial. But what do you expect with the cheapest room at Majestic Elegance? I'm liking this room. I think there's a lot of space. I think there's a lot of quality and luxury touches here. I'm really excited. It's also a tremendous value. I think I paid under $200 for this, all inclusive. Uh, these are just first impressions. I need to live in this room for four days. I need to see the property. But as of right now, I like it. All right, good morning. I feel like I've been starting my videos the same way for a long time now. Uh, I get to the hotel, I do an intro, I give you a room rundown, and then I go to dinner. And that's getting boring even for me. So I want to switch things up and officially start the video with breakfast, AKA my blue Hawaiian. I did go to dinner last night. I'll touch on that in a second, but I did want to start out here at the beach and the pool. I have been meaning to start my videos at one of these locations for a long time, but the weather has not been cooperating and it isn't perfectly cooperating right now. It is a little windy and that's why I am kind of isolated in this corner. Uh, dinner last night, I went to the buffet. It was a lot like Majestic Mirage, almost identical. It was Dominican night. They had some indigenous and authentic Dominican foods. That was a great surprise on my first night. Uh, there was one major difference and that was the crowd. It was a cattle call. At 6.30 there was a line out the door and around the corner. I have never seen a line that long at a restaurant before anywhere in the world. You would think it was opening night at a Michelin star restaurant. So right now I'm outside Majestic Elegance Club. There are two clubs here at the hotel. Uh, there's one at the very end of the property right at the beach. Uh, that's where I'm gonna be hanging out today. And then there's one at the start of the property. I will eventually get there maybe tomorrow or the next day. As of right now, I'm on meal number one right here. The weather is beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. I'm gonna get to the pool. Let's do it. Uh, one thing I absolutely, certainly like more about this property than I did at Majestic Garage is uh, the pool. Uh, I quite enjoyed my time at the pool today. It is more of a traditional pool setup. It is larger, better energy, better vibe, better layout, better location on the property. Absolutely a better pool experience than Majestic Mirage. Now, I plan on going to the beach either tomorrow or the next day and spending time at the main pool. If those components are better than Majestic Mirage, is Elegance, which is the more pedestrian, more casual, older property, could this be better than Majestic Mirage? We are gonna find out. All right, good morning. I am starting my day much like I did yesterday. It's pretty much a repeat. Uh, yesterday I started at the Elegance Club and I had a couple espressos. One of them may or may not have had some gasolina in there and I had some finger foods as well. Today I started with a Presidente Light and a salmon bagel sandwich. I should probably talk about what the Elegance Clubs are. 
it is the upsell portion of the property it is the premium portion of the property for an extra 30 40 dollars a day you get access to the premium parts of the property uh, you get access to the premium tower which is adults only uh, they have an elegance club that is in the tower which is nice there's also one in the lobby that's where i checked in and there is one down by the beach as well it's not the worst club I've seen. It's not the best club I've seen. You know, it's a place to go, get some finger foods, watch a little TV, relax. Uh, they are staffed with attendants. So if you want a beer or a drink or a coffee, that's easily done. They do have a guest attendant there as well to kind of service you if you have any like property needs, but they are a little limited. For example, I left my room key in my room last night like a rookie. I tried to go here to the Elegance Club and get a copy of it. And I was sent all the way to the lobby. So a little limited in their scope, but they do have people here to help service you if needed. All right, so yesterday I spent the majority of my day at the Elegance Pool by the beach. I wanna check out the Elegance Pool uh, by the lobby, and I wanna try to check out the Elegance Beach as well. I am told there is a third Elegance Pool on property, but I haven't been able to find it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of sniff that out. Uh, I'm just gonna pretty much walk around and have an outdoor day. There is not a cloud in the sky. The weather is perfect. I'm just gonna kind of have like a sunny vagabond day, check out the property. Let's get started. Uh, Elegance Pool, number one. This is the exact reason why I did not like the Mirage Pool. I will not be spending hardly any time here. I'm on to the next. You know, this is a swim-up pool that is masquerading as somewhat of a public pool. Sleepy, you do have a swim-up bar over there. Just really quiet, couples, chill. If you are looking for a tranquil spot, this would be the spot to hang out, but it is not the spot for me. On to Elegance Club Pool number two. All right, uh, Elegance Club and Pool number two. So much better than Elegance Pool and Club number one. I'm not sure why you'd ever wanna hang out at Elegance Pool and Club number one. Maybe if you just want a pool and sun experience that is right outside your uh, hotel room, maybe that's why you go there. That place was dull and boring compared to this place. Uh, definitely an upgraded location, right next to the beach. Better pool, the pool is more of an actual pool experience. It's larger, better vibe, better design. And there is an Elegance Club here. Now the Elegance Club here, there is a very, very exclusive club up top. I actually stumbled across that place yesterday. I had some great food up there. I'm gonna get up there, uh, have some food, much needed, and head to Elegance Pool and Club number three. All right, so that was both amazingly awesome and a huge mistake. It's nothing like stuffing yourself with the most overly indulgent foods and then heading right back to the pool or beach, which is what I am going to do. This is one of the better clubs I've been to in all of Punta Cana. Um, I liked the sushi with the purple and pink decoration. Didn't taste the best, but looked the coolest. Uh, I love my soup of nachos, literally with oceans of salsa and cheese. I love the honor system there where they just had Fernet and all that alcohol just chilling, nothing stopping me from taking a bottle. Something I would have done a decade ago, but not today. There was a copious amount of caffeine there. That Nest Cafe machine is life. I don't know why I don't have one of those. So I feel like I need to be rolled over to uh, pool number three. I'm gonna just somehow make my way over there, relax, decompress, try to sweat out some of these toxins, and then uh, go back to my room. And if I wake up tonight, I'm going to dinner somewhere. All right, quite the pool day today. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much, I even spent more time out there than I planned on doing. I stayed out there uh, basically until the late afternoon. The Elegance Club pools, uh, the two by the beach are fantastic. I really enjoyed my time out there. They were private, they were secluded, they were adult, they still had energy. I liked the pool design, sun all day. Each one had a dedicated Elegance Club, and then the one had the Sunrise Club above it. And now that I think about it, that is probably the better pool. I'm gonna call that pool number two, and that is definitely the pool to hang out at.
All right, good morning. For the third consecutive morning in a row, I started my day at an Elegance Club, but this time I started at my favorite one, the Sunrise Lounge. I had a great morning. Nobody was in there. Beautiful views of the beach area, of this pool, and plus they had breakfast. Now, the breakfast was not that good, but at least they attempted the breakfast, and again, I had the beach club to myself. It was great. Uh, today, I wasn't going to do anything. I was going to sit in my room and video edit, but it's my last real day here in Putacana. I technically have like four days left, but this is my last real day at a resort. The weather is perfect. How could I sit inside and video edit? So I'm gonna enjoy my last day here. What I think I'm gonna do is show you the family pool. It's really not my style, but I'd be remiss if I did not show it to you. I'm gonna head there right now. And then I'm gonna show you the beach, which really isn't my style either. It's plagued with kind of the same problems that the Mirage Beach has. I'm still gonna go there nonetheless. And then I'm probably gonna end up at one of these pools. So my favorite pool is right behind me and the beach is right behind me. It leads into this main pool and it's huge. Uh, it's actually one of the better main pools I've seen in Punta Cana. The only problem is that it's really loud, a lot of families, it's really not my style, but it has some uh, beautiful fountains in the middle and there is a huge swim up bar, an outdoor bar in the middle of it. And uh, it has a lot of alcoves, twists and turns, nooks and crannies. It's really well done and plus it's huge. It starts pretty much at the lobby and goes all the way to the beach. So uh, if you are a family or if you want some energy, this is the place to hang out. There's music, there's ping pong, there's water activities. I'm gonna go have a drink, maybe two. We're gonna spend some time there and then I'm off to the beach. All right, so I just came to the main pool to get a drink. Apparently, he's making something especial, something bonita, something raw, just for me. Uh, they have a game going on. I tried to ask if there's money involved, never really got a straight answer. I'm gonna play a hand or two and press my luck. All right, blackjack update. I did not lose a hand. I kept on doubling after every bet, as you should do if you want to play to win, and they ran out of money. I took her whole rack of chips. Now, that only translated into $10. I actually won a $10 right away, but we kept on playing for fun, and I didn't lose a hand. I uh, should have been in Vegas for sure. So I'm just up here on the family pool bridge, and if this was the only pool here, I would not be disappointed. I, I prefer the adult pools, but this actually isn't that bad. Yes, there are children, yes, it's busy, but it's so huge, and there's so many alcoves, twists, uh, nooks, crannies. You can definitely find a private spot. Uh, it's lush, it's tropical, it's serene, it's huge. It starts all the way at the front of the lobby, and it goes all the way to the beach. There are hot tubs, there's ping pong, there's a swim up bar, there's a regular bar, there are activities. It's a really fun place to hang out. Today was a fantastic day. I did not spend much time at the beach. It's not my favorite. Again, like Majestic Mirage, it kind of is plagued with the same problems. There's a slope issue. It's a real sharp, steep incline compared to the other 
beaches I've been in and Punta Cana. The strip of beach is very long, but it's also very narrow. And that means that the chairs and the people in them are packed very tightly together. It is quite dense. Not as much space as you'd find at like uh, Hard Rock, Secrets, Rue Republica, Royal Tin, or basically any other Punta Cana hotel. Even the Elegance Club, where you'd expect to find a bit more space. Uh, it's a bit more excluded, ex exclusive. It's roped off. Even that was kind of a little overpopulated from my liking. So not my favorite beach, and that is putting it quite gently. All right, I just finished dinner at Limited Gourmand, or Limited Gourmand, if you want to say it in an American manner. Uh, I want to learn French. I think I've talked about that in a previous video. I need to learn French right after I learn Spanish. I have been practicing my Spanish vehemently while I've been here. It's, it's hard not to. My favorite phrase is probably, mi espanol es muy malo, uh, soy practicando y apriendo. And what that means, I know that my accent and pronunciation needs work, but what that means is, um, my Spanish is bad, but I'm practicing and I'm trying. My other favorite phrase, if you care to know, is estoy cansado siempre, and that means I'm always tired. Okay, I'll digress off that. Let's talk about Limited Gourmet. Um, it is the most elite restaurant here on site. You absolutely need a reservation. There are only two restaurants you need a reservation for here on site. You need a uh, reservation for the hibachi at the Japanese place, and then you need a reservation at the French place. And they enforced that. There was a couple that showed up right ahead of me, right at a restaurant open at 6.30 p.m. and there was nobody in the restaurant, nobody. And that couple in front of me was promptly turned away. I think, it's, I think that's because they only had a limited amount of seats or seatings for the night. And if you don't have one of those slots, you don't get to eat there. So my reservation was at 9.30, but because I had a slot for the night, I showed up at 6.30 and they honored it. And I really appreciate that. The atmosphere was typically and authentically French. It was bland and boring and traditional, as most French restaurants are, so I thought it was pretty true. And uh, the service was prototypically French. It was outstanding. Uh, in retrospect, it was probably the best service I've had out of any all-inclusive restaurant while I've been here. It was just remarkable. Okay, tonight I am off to Piano Bar. It is not the most mesmerizing or seductive bar here on site. The lobby bar downstairs holds that award, but it has some awesome craft cocktails up top. It's hard to find a craft cocktail here in Butacana, and they have, I think, a board of them. So I'm gonna get up there right now, give you a drink montage, and I'll hit you in the morning with my final thoughts. All right, good morning. Uh, it is my last moment here at Majestic Elegance. I had a great stay. Uh, last night I did go up to Piano Bar, which is the softer, more low-key bar of the two. All the action is at the downstairs bar and downstairs um, terrace area. Actually, last night there was a band and there were a lot of people out there sitting outside having drinks, having coffees, listening to the music. The music was fantastic. Uh, it was a very happening place to be. Also, the lobby bar was another buzzing and happening spot. It had so much more energy than the Majestic Mirage lobby bar, and it had the most energy out of any bar here on site. So if you want to hang out where all the action is at night, you want to head to the terrace, and then you want to head to the downstairs lobby bar. That is also the most beautiful place to hang out here and have a drink. 
Um, I chose to follow the craft cocktails. I went upstairs to Piano Bar. I really respect and appreciate the effort to kind of have a craft cocktail piano bar here in Putacana. Drinks are typically an afterthought for a lot of these all-inclusive hotels, especially premium drinks and crafted cocktails. They are expensive, they are time-consuming, and these hotels typically want to drive down costs. So again, I commend, respect, and appreciate the fact they at least tried to do a craft cocktail. So if you're looking for a softer, chiller, more quiet, more relaxed, more tranquil, more isolated, more exclusive place to hang out and have a drink, I would go upstairs to the piano bar. If you are gonna order a drink, I recommend the Alabama. Okay, Majestic Elegance, let me hit the high points very quickly. Let me start in the room. I loved it, it was a tremendous value. I'm going to reveal all of my costs probably in a separate video, but for what I paid for this property and what I got in return, I thought the value was extraordinary. The room specifically had all the fit, fitment, function, and form you would expect to find in a five-star property, and again, for a great price. Marble everywhere, sunken living room, indoor jacuzzi, outdoor balcony, nice huge soft plush sofa four post bed dual vanity water closet with marble everywhere shower with marble everywhere so i was very very impressed with the room and this was the cheapest room they had available i would be very interested and intrigued to see what a higher caliber room on this property would look like another feature that i really liked about this hotel was the elegance club option much like the uh, mirage club at the majestic mirage that is the 21 plus option this entire property is not comprehensively 21 plus but half of it is so if you want your 21 plus experience uh, maybe with a quieter room um, a more upscale tower access to your club lounges and 21 plus specific pools uh, the elegance club and the mirage club is something you're absolutely going to want to do i could not imagine personally coming back to this property and not opting for the elegance club and now that I think about it, I really enjoyed my time at the main pool. It's beautiful. It has all those twists, turns, nooks, crannies, alcoves, secluded areas. It is gargantuan. It pretty much goes the length of the property. It starts at the lobby, goes to the beach. It's wide, it has bridges, it has waterfalls, it has fountains. Uh, there is a bar right in the middle, an outdoor bar with seating, games, ping pong, water sport classes. It has a swim up bar. It was very, very well done. If it wasn't for the Elegance Club and Elegance Club pools, I would have spent a lot of time at that main pool. And even though it was kind of the main pool, the public pool, the kids pool, the family pool, I would have enjoyed my time there with no reservations. The food and restaurants here were fantastic. I proclaimed Majestic Mirage right next door to have the best food and restaurants I've encountered while I've been here in Putacana for all inclusives. Uh, but I would put Majestic Elegance right up there. I ordered room service last night and it was above average. It might have actually been the best room service I've had out of all the hotels here. So if food and restaurants are important to you, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed here at Majestic Elegance. Overall, this place is beautiful and stunning. Uh, just like Majestic Mirage, the lobby is a profound and moving experience. Uh, gorgeous cathedral ceilings, the architecture is unbelievable. Exotic stones and marbles comprise the entire place. Uh, it is a double-decker lobby with a dual banister staircase that leads down into the lush tropical landscape. Uh, the lobby really sets the pace for the entire property, and although the rest of the property does not disappoint, uh, the lobby is really a magical experience right when you get here. This property is so similar to Majestic Mirage. This used to be the crown jewel in the Majestic Putacana portfolio. That is until the newer, more luxurious, more modern Majestic Mirage was built, but this was the archetype. Uh, it is so similar, phenomenal restaurants, great lobby, beautiful landscape. There are a few differences, and I'll probably highlight those in another video, but they are really similar. Now, I do much prefer one over the other, but when I rate it, when I put it on paper, this has the better pool, Mirage has the better restaurants. The Mirage is more luxurious and newer. This is cheaper and a better value. So they really cancel each other out. You won't be disappointed with either one. And because they do cancel each other out, because they're so similar, because they're right next door to each other, I'm also gonna rate this one a four. You won't be disappointed in either one. Again, I'm going to make a standalone video where I compare directly Majestic Elegance and Majestic Mirage. If you dig into the two properties, there are definitely stark contrasts, but big picture, big scope, they're pretty much the same. 